Songwriting can be easier than you think. In this video, I'm gonna share with you my top five tips for people wanting to write their own songs. Now, I just composed a little ditty for my fiance and I's brand new YouTube channel. It's called Joe and Genevieve, the channel that is. And I'll play you a little bit of the theme song and you can check out the channel. It's linked in the description below. And then I'll talk about how I came up with the music because I think it's a perfect little uh, structure to write a song around. And then I'll go through my top five tips, what I've learned writing in songs in Nashville with over you know, 500 people thereabouts. Probably had over 500 co-writes in Nashville with a lot of you know, people who have written great legendary songs and different people that you might know, like Chris Stapleton. I wrote a song with him. I can't find it. <laughs> the voice memo is buried in, in uh, some old iPhone backup from many years ago. But anyway, check out this song and then we're going to talk songwriting. <laughs> So did you like that? Let me know in the comments. I quite like it, I think it's a nice song shape. So my first tip for you is to come up with a song shape. Practice coming up with a song shape. Now there are many ways to approach songwriting and I don't think there's a, a wrong way to do it. You know, some people like to start with a lyric, some people like to go on a walk and hum a melody in their head and start from that. Some people like to start with a groove and a chord progression. And no matter your approach, I think practicing uh, coming up with a song shape and practicing, you know, coming up with grooves is is it's just a great thing to, to be able to do. And a lot of people who, you know, subscribe to my channel are guitar players, so especially if, if you're a kind of music person first. Mm -hmm. I feel a little bit overwhelmed sometimes if I sit down at a blank page and I'm going to write a song and I have to think, what's it going to be about? You know, I, I kind of, I'd rather start grooving before I start thinking. <laughs> so in the little ditty I came up with, I'm in the key of B minor and I'm just walking up. Now, this is a little bit of a complicated chord progression, but I'll show you the chord progression, and then I'll take another example of a much simpler uh, set of chords that, that we can use to create a song shape. So in this one, I'm just going from B minor, walking up to D, walking up from E minor to F sharp minor to G, G major seven, and then I'm going to B flat diminished, and then walking down from B minor, A, G, F sharp minor, E minor, D major 7, C sharp minor 7 flat 5, to an F sharp well, 7, to a B minor. So basically I'm just walking up, you know, that series of chords, which is all in the key of B minor. Now the good thing about music is there's only 12 notes. And there's only so many chords and so many places we can go in, in a particular key. So uh, I like the way this goes up, comes back down, resolves, and the bridge I go from E minor to a B minor, F sharp to a B minor, repeat that, E minor to a B minor to a C sharp minor 7 flat 5 to an F sharp augmented type thing. So let's say that, you know, this is meant to be a beginning songwriting video, so I don't want to get too down the rabbit hole of jazz chords or anything. But let's take some chords that everybody will know, such as G, E minor, D, C, C suspended like that, it's a nice inversion, and A minor 7. And let's come up with a song shape using those chords. So, we'll start off with kind of a verse.
etc. So what I did there is I kind of had a verse shape to me that went G, E minor to a D, repeated, then went to an A minor to a G to a D. So there's a lot of that D kind of, you know, building some tension. And then in the chorus, we doubled the frequency of the chords. We went E minor, D, C to G with some kind of pushed rhythms. E minor to D, A minor to, to E minor. So you can come up with your own song shape in any key using, you know, just a few chords. You know, there's so many great songs written with, you know, just a small number of chords. So, you know, take whatever chords you would like and practice coming up with a song shape. So my second tip is to create two sections within your song shape that are distinct and that you feel are strong. Now, strong can mean, you know, there's just something about them that really sticks out or jumps out. Uh, it, it can be, you know, just an, an energy thing. There's something that, that uh, is, is powerful. <laughs> Uh, maybe the verse is, is subdued and really brings you in and has some tension. Maybe the chorus really has a lot of energy and movement. Generally speaking, I think, it's my observation that in you know, the form of most popular songs, there are two really distinct sections. There's usually a verse and a chorus or kind of a main theme and a bridge you know, in a more A-A-B-A -A -A type song form, which are some of my favorites. So I think coming up with two really distinct sections within your song shape is a great way to start off with a musical bed that we can write a song to. By the way, my, my first three tips are going to be about music and my second two are going to be about lyric. So stick with us if you're, if you're wanting the lyric information. Okay, so let's talk about coming up with a melody. Now I think the most natural way to come up with a melody is to just sing along with what, you've, what you're playing or you know, just seeing something that comes to your head, try to find some catchy, you know, melodic idea that you like. In music, we only have 12 notes. There's only 12 notes in the chromatic scale, and if we're in a, a key like G, you know, we're in a major key and we're gonna stay in that kind of tonality, which most of us are gonna do, we only have eight notes, or, or seven notes of the major scale. So that's what we have to work with. So if I was to come up with a melody for the little G major tune that we, we just worked on, I like to use the guitar to come up with melodies. So maybe I come up with something like this. So, you know, maybe you're a singer and you want to just sing things and just find a melody. You know, in music, there are only three elements, and this is really my third tip, is to have a strong melody, have a strong chord progression, and have a strong groove. So the three elements of music are melody, harmony, and rhythm. So if we have distinct elements right across the board there, we're going to have a pretty strong idea to write lyrics to. So let's talk about writing lyrics. So most of the great songwriters I've had the chance to be around come from the school of starting with a title. You know, if you listen to the Beatles 26 number one hits album, you'll notice that just about every song has the title of the song in either the first line of the verse or chorus. So starting from a title, you know, is really a advisable thing to do. 
you don't want to get to a place, which a lot of people get to, where you know you write all these lyrics and you have all these ideas, and then you get to the end of the chorus and you don't know how to kind of wrap it up. Like, what's this song about? If you start with a title early, then you'll have kind of a direction and you'll have a, a, a focus for the song. So that's something that I think can really make our lives easier. It's coming up with a title, starting from there. Okay, so we have our song shape. We have a chord progression and a bit of a groove. We have two distinct strong sections. We have a bit of a melodic idea going. We have a title. How do we fill in the storyline of the song? How do we write the lyrics? Now, I have really struggled writing lyrics. And, uh, you know, I still think I'm, I'm, I think in musical terms, first uh, when songwriting. But I've been really fortunate to spend a lot of time you know, in Nashville writing with really great people and hanging out with people like Rodney Crowell, who's one of the finest lyricists of our time, if you ask me. You know, he's won Grammy Awards and Songwriting Hall of Fame Awards. And, you know, there are a few principles with writing lyrics that really helped me and were real game changers for me. And the first one, which is tip number five, is hard rhymes. So the rhyme structure of a song and the rhyme itself is very, very important. If you listen to songs by people like Bob Dylan, Leonard Cohen, Tom Waits, Rodney Crowell, Guy Clark, Towns Van Zandt, which I highly recommend uh, you know, listening to songs by those folks if you want a master class on, on writing songs. If you were to take a song like Make You Feel My Love, the Bob Dylan song, you know, just pull up the lyrics to that and just read them. If you were to replace any one of those rhymes with something that was a weak, a weak rhyme, like what did I write down as an example? A weak rhyme would be home and none. It really doesn't rhyme, but a lot of people will try to get away with something like that. If you take a song like Make You Feel My Love and you replace one of the rhymes with something weak, just think of how it would ruin the song. You know, people like Dylan, they meticulously craft their lyric so that it's just so well put together, so well crafted. I'll never forget writing with Alan Shamblin. Alan wrote uh, the Bonnie Raitt song, Can't Make You Love Me. He and Mike Reed wrote, wrote that together. And I sat there with, with Alan for eight hours just writing a lyric. We rewrote every line multiple times. And it's kind of this game of finding the right rhyme and then finding the right thing to say and then if you found the right thing to say but the rhyme's not right, you kind of shuffle it around and find a different rhyme. And really just, you know, that's when the songwriting muscles come into play because when you have practice doing that, you can kind of jumble a line around really quickly and just kind of really come up with uh, a, a better rhyme structure if you have a, a solid idea. So that that was a real game changer for me because I'm kind of an analytical person and I'm a pretty practical person and uh, and sometimes you know if you have an emotional idea it can be hard to frame it in a in a structure that that makes sense so if we have a few rules like that using hard rhymes for example it can really just help give us something to to you know be solid blocks for building our, our lyric so I highly recommend studying the lyrics of people like Bob Dylan, Leonard Cohen, Tom Waits, Rodney Crowell, Guy Clark, and Towns Van Zandt. Just studying the way they craft a verse, the rhymes, the imagery used, all the different poetic techniques. And for music, you know, listening to the Beatles and Stevie Wonder and Elton John and Billy Joel and James Taylor and Carol King, you know, there's so many great songwriters as well as you know the Tin Pan Alley folks and the learning a lot of jazz standards you know if you want to be a, a songwriter the best thing you can do is learn a lot of songs that's a big part of the reason I've really enjoyed arranging a lot of cover songs lately people will say why don't you play your own music Joe well I have 75 songs original songs on iTunes you can go listen to uh, iTunes I, I, it sounds so old school Spotify um, these days but uh, learning songs and arranging cover songs can be a great way to just get under the hood of what makes a great song. You know, you, you learn the ins and outs of the melody and the chord progression and you kind of, kind of what makes it, uh, you know, so great. 
um, my friend Gary Nicholson, who's an incredible songwriter, uh, multiple Grammy Award winning songwriter, he says, you know, if you want to write a great song, learn 30 great songs, then try to write the 31st song. So try to make your songs as good as the great songs that you've learned. So I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. You know, I really encourage you to write songs. It takes courage to be a creative person. You know, creative people, especially those who write their own songs and share them with the world, that's a very brave thing to do. And I think it's really commendable and the world needs more of it. So go out there and have fun writing some songs. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. My name again is Joe Robinson. Hit the like button, subscribe and ring the bell if you haven't already so you don't miss any of my weekly videos. Thanks for watching.